Dante Tank Davis. Let Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney, no. Y'all ain't built like that, bro. Man, shout out to my Devin Haney fans out there. Y'all boys be riding hard. Y'all ladies be riding hard. I appreciate you. But y'all know, I'm here to cook y'all ass, right? <laughs> y'all know I'm here to get at you, right? Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. I ask that you join the channel as a member. Drop super chats when you come by the live streams and videos that we do. And if you want to debate, knock out boxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Let's get it cracking, though. Look, bro, um, I was doing my live stream yesterday, and my boy Joseph Jackson gave me an idea for a video. Gave me an idea for a video. I'm trying to talk about something else. He tried to throw Devin Haney into the conversation, you know. And so he, he typed in my comments, so whatever, Devin Haney versus Jack Catterall is a better fight than Tank Davis versus Lamont Roach. Interesting. Interesting, bro. I 1,100, 1 million percent agree with you, Joseph, and any other Devin Haney fan that thinks like this. I agree, bro. I think that Devin versus Jack Catterall is a better fight than Tank Davis versus Lamont Roach. 100%, bro. That is a great observation. That is very astute, sir. And ma'ams that believe this shit. Now, let's talk about why. <laughs> let's talk about why. Let's talk about why. It is a better fight because Devin Haney ain't as good as Tank Davis. That's why it's a better fight, because Jack Catterall is closer in skill set to Devin Haney than Lamont Roach is in skill set to Tank Davis, because Devin Haney ain't as good as Tank Davis. See, the fight is better because it's closer to a 50-50 fight, because based off of Devin Haney's last performance, he got stepped on by a dirty fighter. Deserves his no contest, but we saw what we saw, and the film is the film. He got stepped on. The film is the film. He got stepped on. He took punishment that a no contest can't take away from you. He showed flaws in his game that a no contest can't take away from you. His father showed flaws in his ability to train and be a good voice of reason in the corner and make good adjustments and give good instructions. You can't undo that. It is what it is. And because of those things, he has far more questions going into his next fight than Tank Davis does because Tank Davis took on a style of fighter, the black American athletic style that everyone said he wouldn't fight. Black American athletic, he won't fight him because his last name ain't Gonzalez. His last name ain't Rodriguez. His last name ain't Garcia. His last name ain't Lopez. So Frank Martin and Tank Davis, Frank Martin would never fight him or Tank Davis would never fight him. Then he went in there and he fought the type of style that people who are detractors of his said he would never fight. And he went in there and he fucking demolished him in a knockout that has gone viral. In a knockout that made sports in the top 10. In a knockout that had Stephen A. Smith talking boxing on ESPN First Take when Stephen A. Smith don't never talk no fucking boxing. That's what he did in his last performance. So he has showed in his last performance a level of skill, a level of talent, and a level of, of, of star power that Tank Davis did not, I mean, that Devin Haney showed nowhere near in his last performance. Matter of fact, if you want to compare the two for real, for real, Tank Davis showed that same level of star power against the opponent that put pause on Devin Haney, albeit again, Ryan Garcia is a dirty fighter, Ryan Garcia is a cheater, Ryan Garcia is, I don't like Ryan Garcia, I'm just saying, the film is the film, <laughs> the film is the film, y'all, the film is the film, and we all saw what we saw, so, that's why Caterall is a better fight for Devin Haney, 
Here's the issue that y'all have when trying to say that, though. Because you, if Tank Davis fought Jack Catterall, I can hear y'all now. Man, come on, bro. Jack Catterall, bro. So Tank moving up to 140, he fighting Jack Catterall, bro. He could at least fight T.O. He could at least fight Liam Perot. He, ain't, he could at least fight Alberto Pueyo. Alberto Pueyo is a champion. But he going to fight Jack Catterall, a UK fighter? That's how you know that you think Tank is better than Devin because if Tank was fighting Jack Catterall, you wouldn't call it a good fight. <laughs> you wouldn't call it a good fight. I agree, though. That Tank versus Jack Catterall, I mean, Tank versus Lamont Roach is not as good as Devin Haney versus Jack Catterall because Jack Catterall has a better chance to beat Devin Haney than Lamont Roach has to beat Tank Davis because Tank Davis is a far better fighter than Devin Haney at this point in their career. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. That's what the odds are going to say when they come out of these two fights happen. And that's what your eyeballs say when they face common opponents. They both fought Uriokas Gamboa, who disposed of him. They both shared the ring with Ryan Garcia. What happened? What happened? Now, let's go to the other side of that. No, nah, KO, no, nah, KO, fuck all that. Fuck all that. It's a better fight because Jack Catterall is a better fighter than Lamont Roach. Jack Catterall and Lamont Roach ain't never fought. They've never fought. They've never shared the ring together. So we don't know who the better fighter is. All you got is I, I test and accomplishments. I test and accomplishments. If you want to make the argument that Jack Catterall looks better to your eyes than Lamont Roach does, then go ahead and have that argument. I see two fighters with a good level of skill I see two fighters that can counter punch. I see two fighters with good lateral movement. Jack Catterall just happens to be bigger than, than um, Lamont Roach, and he happens to be a southpaw. What I will say is this, though. How many times has Jack Catterall been a world champion? Because Lamont Roach is a world champion. How many times has Jack Catterall defended his title? Oh, he's never had a title, so he hasn't ever defended a title. Lamont Roach has defended his title and won a title. I'm just, all I'm saying is, bro, all I'm saying is, Tank Davis is fighting a more accomplished fighter. That ain't, a, that ain't a debate, shit. That ain't something that we can go back and forth on. That's just a fact. Tank Davis is fighting somebody that is taller and longer than him. Jack Catterall is damn near the same height as Lamont Roach. He about 5'8", got like a 69-inch arm reach. He'll be shorter than Devin Hain. Reach won't be as much as Devin Hain. Tank Davis is fighting somebody that weighs more than him on fight night. Lamont Roach weighs about 148 on fight night. I didn't say that. Go ask Lamont Roach. Tank Davis weighs between 144 to 147 on fight night. And he's two or three inches shorter than Lamont Roach. Jack Catterall going to be in the ring with somebody that I weigh him 10 to 15 pounds. The night of the fight. They're going to be in the 160s. Jack Catterall going to be in the 150s the night of the fight if they fight. But the thing I love the most is that y'all say that, 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 that my brothers and sisters who, who bought this up, you say that Devin Haney and Jack Catterall is a better fight than Tank Davis and Lamont Roach. I'm going to close my eyes and why don't y'all wake me up when they really sign the fight. You down so bad, you talking about a hypothetical fight that ain't even been signed yet. You talking about a fight that ain't even came to fruition yet. You talking about a fight that ain't even been negotiated yet. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Which fight y'all think is better? I think, I think Devin Haney versus Jack Catterall is a better fight. I do. I think it's a better fight. Because Tank Davis is way fucking better than Devin Haney. That's my thoughts. What's yours? Smash the like sub up. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Javante St. Davis.
that Shakur Stevens hit Devin Haney, no I ain't built like that, bruh